So today we're gonna have something different. I was like scrolling through side quest and just seeing some things to do, <laughs> and uh, there I I encountered something like it's called like Project Terminus, and you know that I not a huge fan of horror games, even though recently I've been playing a lot of them. <laughs> it's just that there are a lot of interesting horror games. <laughs> Uh, but it's not necessarily my type of genre of games to play. Uh, what interested that to me is that the whole setup is in uh, Paris, which I live here. <laughs> so it will be interesting to see how the developers like reenacted that. I don't. I'm not sure if the developers are French or not. I think they are, and uh, so you know. I know Paris pr pretty well by that by this point. Uh, this is like a setup of a h horror survival ap apocalyptic kind of city, which is also familiar because <laughs> in Paris for the past I guess like one year, though there are just constantly some manifestations, you know, just politics going on. Gilles Jean, all that kind of stuff. So, like, it's funny timing that uh, we will have a survival apocalyptic uh, horror game set up in Paris when it's actually happening. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. I mean, I'm not sure what to expect. Uh, but I... I already don't like the music because I hate horror games and I might quit <laughs> because uh, I'm not like really resistant to that shit. <laughs> but fuck that, like I don't know. Okay, but uh, do we have some settings, like anything? No, I can't... Okay, I can't turn around with a joystick. So, you know, um, I mean, this is a demo version. Hands are interesting. Uh, so, this is not a full game, obviously. So, this is not gonna be like a full as playthrough, right? <laughs> I'm just testing out to see what's up with that. Uh, it's like an uh, independent developer, so whatever. Yes? Hey, can you hear me? Oh, uh, hello? Uh, somebody? Place a hand on your belly and press the grip. Oh, you're alive. Nice. I tried to get you out of there safe. Take hmm. the flashlight and put it in your bag. It'll be the useful since the power supply is not reliable anymore. The offset is really weird, like, it's not like in front of me, it's like in me. Okay. Flashlight, grab the behind your shoulder. Okay, cool. You can carry many things while you're back, by the way. Okay, that if works. If you feel something will be useful, take it with you. Climb oh, shit. <laughs> Now I don't know where I am because I don't really play like games that I can't turn around. So that's a little bit weird for me because I'm not gonna be sure where I am. But so far like it's kinda polished like you know all the pushing mechanics and just like you know just uh, what about climbing let's see. Holy shit. In case you didn't know, billions of nanites have invaded yeah. the city. It's we fine. don't know where they come from. It's a huge mess out there. You're in trouble, buddy. What the hell do you mean I'm in trouble? I'm in Paris, this is normal. Okay. Oh Jesus fucking Christ. Get out of the chair. Uh, I don't know. Wait, why is trans... 
A weird texture for a door. Hello? Grab, grab. <laughs> that's true, that's how it is in Paris currently. <laughs> like, there is no way in a week there won't be a strike or manifestation going on. Usually it's on Saturdays. Yeah, encore. Uh, and there are like other manifestations for other kinds of causes. I can have multiple access? Oh hell yes, I mean any game that I can dual wield, <laughs> it's uh, goals for me. Hi sis, I think I saw also it on the side quest. But I'll take two, sure, whatever. Good luck. Okay. Uh, shit, it's a little bit weird to don't go outside. I wanna go outside. Don't drink water. Great. Um, okay, fuck, it's ghost. Jesus. <laughs> it's a map of Paris. I mean, it's a metro system, basically. You have, like, trains, but, like, a subway also. It's kind of, like, connected. Listen to me carefully. Yes. Go to the second train platform, not the first. What the, the second, fuck? The safe house is near the second platform. There are nanite swarms everywhere. They are on the verge of being dormant, but still have. Are you started. fucking kidding? Oh my god! So don't let them catch you. Follow emergency lights to drive you to the destination. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. It's the green ones. Are you fucking kidding me? No. Subway in Paris by night? Oh. <laughs> Hell no. What the hell is this? The <gasps> no fucking rats? <laughs> no, 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 this is not game for me. I can play Half Life, but not this shit. <laughs> Indie gaming. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Use your hands to climb the obstacle. Okay. I mean, that's. Uh, I did nothing. Okay. <laughs> no, that's like fucking amnesia shit. No, no, no. What the fuck? Who's texting me now? Oh, I have like things on my phone. Don't don't mind me. Just just in the middle of apocalypse. Wait. Who's pulling the strings on this masquerade? Rat, <laughs> Rat is the main company uh, that uh, like is in charge of Subway and just like transportation in general. Are there tweets? Mercy at two little passengers stand the regent. The thirty of it. Six mass inscription will be ours. It is time expert. Ah, it's like I Illuminati something. What the hell? Okay. Uh, shit. No, no, no. I don't want to quit. Okay, now. Like that. Now. Where are we, actually? Gar Austerlitz. So, in, we're not, like, in on my place. It's, like, on the southeast, kinda? Where are our SMS? Oh, it's here. The moment I s I will see the swarm or something scary, I'm leaving. <laughs> I don't. I I just don't want to. Oh my god! Are you no no? Okay, um... <laughs> this is not okay for me. <laughs> no. <sighs> I'll try to come to the... <sighs> Shoot my ass. <laughs> 
seems like the roof just collapsed. Okay, try to go on the other side of the platform anyway. I'll try to reach the uh, the actual subway to see what's up. Is it burning? Yeah, fuck you. Uh, like to see what like the station order, but I'm leaving after that because I'm a pussy and I can't handle the horror this this type. Oh, okay, we're here. Great. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but fuck this, literally fuck this. Oh, what's that? A phone? An iPhone? Alarms ever? I don't know, but they are. Yeah, it's like the apocalyptic part of. Okay, pa let's Paris. reach the second platform. Keep on following the green lights. Okay, so where are we actually? Uh, because wait, I can. Can I... Okay, so this is line... Plus d'Italie? Di... Plus d'Italie, so this is line 1? Because I remember orange, yellow one is 1 or... I think, I'm not sure, it's a little bit blurred. Oh, there will be a thing, but don't fucking jump scare me please, thank you. Oh, I can't uh, even... Okay. This is not okay for me. <laughs> I mean, the game is great. Like, this is immersion as fuck. But, hell no. Okay. Plus d'Italie, it's... Oh, it's line 5. Line 5 is on the east, I think. Okay. I can't... Yeah, I can't... Oh. Okay, great. Thank you, game. Oh, here's also... Okay. Yeah, because like you have this. Uh, oh, fucking hell! Stop it. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have like the manifestations going on since kind of, the transplantation is really like kind of like limited. I'm fortunate to be traveling by bike everywhere these times. Um. So yeah, but. This seems pretty well done to me. As for a game that it's not a full, it's pretty much an alpha demo or whatever. And uh, it gives me like really like fucking amnesia in Paris. <laughs> Just apocalyptic bullshit. Okay, uh, but I I <laughs> I really don't want to play more. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I just wanted to test it out pretty much to see how it is. Um, <laughs> for me, it's really weird to play something to be inside of a city that I actually live in and I know where I am. <laughs> uh, it's a great demo, to be honest, like for an independent, uh, independent studio. The mechanics seems fine, like the grabbing stuff. Um, I wish I I could turn with my joystick because one joystick is for movement, that, uh, but the other one is the same basically. So they should change that. That's my note, pretty much. But other than that, like for a quest, it's it's uh, not that bad. I feel like the textures could be a little bit better, but I feel like they put more. Uh, like importance on the lightning and like the I guess surfaces so that's just the choice of the developers you know uh, but hell yes that's really immersive I feel like that's the most immersive game that I've played so far with horror because I played uh, I still play Half-Life uh, The Horizon what's the other ones that might be it actually so not that much <laughs> uh, what's the horror game I mean, yeah, I feel like, I mean, kind of Republic is a horror game, but not really. <coughs> so, okay, then I did not play a lot of horror games. I'm just familiar with a lot of them. Uh, but yeah, I like, out of these two, Project Terminus seems uh, just too immersive for my taste. <laughs> too real, definitely too real, <laughs> but it's good for them, so uh, it's gonna be definitely worth like 
um, trusting the developers and just like you know help them grow because that's that's insane uh, actually the immersion that uh, I was in and I chicken out I I can't handle that <laughs> like horror games are definitely not for me uh, but yeah it's a pretty cool demo and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next in the future with this game but that doesn't mean I will play that. <laughs> I'm just gonna support it. <laughs> That's it. 